Hey y'all, today you're gonna use our simple pork chop technique with a flavor-filled sauce and a parsnip puree to make a dish that is filling and has a surprising depth of flavor. And yes, it does use a little juice in the recipe. I'm bringing this up because you might be thinking juice isn't paleo. And you're right in the sense that our regular access to juice is a very, very new thing. And while I don't recommend that people drink juice with any kind of regularity, it's basically just sugar water, using a little to cook with every so often is not the same thing as downing a glass with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, let's cook. First, place the parsnips in a pot. Sprinkle with salt and cover with water. Bring the water to a boil over a medium heat. Cook the parsnips for 15 to 20 minutes or until a knife can easily pierce the parsnips without resistance. While the parsnips are boiling, heat a little oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Add the onions to the pan and cook for 10 minutes. Move them around and cook for another five. Turn the heat down to low. Add the apple juice, apple cider vinegar, water, cloves, and bay leaves. Simmer everything together for at least 20 minutes or until done cooking the other components, whichever is longer. When the parsnips are done cooking, place them in a food processor with a little butter or avocado oil and a couple tablespoons of the water in which the parsnips were boiled. Add, as the parsnips begin to turn into a smooth puree, add the Dijon mustard, a little salt and pepper, and continue to puree until smooth. You can add more of the cooking liquid if needed to get the right texture. Set the puree aside. Heat a little butter or oil in a skillet over a medium heat. Once hot, add the pork chops. Season with salt and pepper and cook for four minutes. Flip, season the other side with a little salt and pepper and cook for another four minutes or until cooked through. It can be just a little pink inside. Once cooked, turn off the heat. Dollop some parsnip puree on a plate, place one pork chop on top, spoon some of the onions and liquid over everything, Enjoy.